Welcome back to Gear of the Cotton Game. Today in deck number 938, we're going to do a little jump start 22 action with Ashcoat of the Shadow Swarm. Now, this deck is in Dragon Shield Matt Slate. Uh, you can find them at your friendly local game store uh, if you don't have one. Uh, Canvas Collectible Games is just a short drive from anywhere in the world, galactically speaking. <laughs> but anyway, Let's look at the ash coat here. We have a rat warlock. Four mana gets us a three four. Whenever ash coat attacks or blocks, other rats you control get plus X plus X till end of turn, where X is the number of rats you control. So it's kind of like a personal coat of arms, uh, just for rats. But at the beginning of your end step, you may mill four cards. If you do, return up to two rats from your graveyard to your hand so obviously we want to play a ton of rats now there are no rat colonies in this deck uh, all of those have been saved for chiromonics uh that you will see coming in the future at some point but let's look at our let's look at our non-rat cards first right shall we uh i mean it's mono black dark ritual is pretty good so uh, Soul Ring, Mind Stone, Charcoal Diamond, and Explorer Scope. Now, we are going to be attacking with creatures, so uh, there is a, what, 38% chance, slightly better, slightly worse, depending on, you know, what you've drawn, but that you're going to hit a land, I'll take it, right? Then for card draw, we have, it's mono black, so the usual suspects is what I would like to say. Um, Sign in Blood, Read the Bones, Ancient Craving, Knight's Whisper, and I'm going to count Court of Ambition here. Uh, yeah, the Monarch token, but even it, I, I mean, it, each opponent loses three life unless they discard a card. If you're the Monarch, it's twice, but I'm considering card draw because of the Monarch token itself. Now, I have some things that work well with rats here. Piper of the Swarm. Uh, giving your team menace is not bad, and making making rats. Sacking three rats to gain control of target creature it is pretty, pretty good, too. We have a rat catcher. You just get to rat tutor every single turn, right? I mean, okay. And then the ogre slumlord. Uh, whenever another non-token rat you control dies, you get a 1-1 one, one token, and then rats have death touch, which works really well with Skull Clamp, which should have been in the card draw section, because that's what this deck uses it for, is card draw. Especially when you clamp one, and then you get the extra one, and then you clamp it, and it's, oh, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Um, got a few, like, to, to victimize... Dread Return and Swift Foot Boots didn't really have a category per se. Uh, but now let's get into the rats. Now, I, I have Relentless Rats in here. Uh, I only have three copies of it, but uh, mainly because I was building rats and I run across them. There's no other rhyme or reason to it than that. Uh, yeah, I probably would have had more if I'd had more, but it is what it is. Uh, that's the only, and I know the correct way uh, to do rats is either the Relentless or the Colony. I get it, but those cards are hard to come by in the quantity that you want. So let's look at our rat tribe here. We've got uh, Crypt Rats, which I, I've been having fun with this since like Visions, you know. Uh, back then we used to give it... Uh, you play black white, and you'd run uh, the uh, the white aura that gives enchanted creature protection from black, and you would just blast away. But I use Crypt Rat a lot, like a board wipe, because it it works. Uh, Nashi Moon Sage's Son just happens to be a rat. There's a lot of rats we got in Nuke uh, or uh, uh, Dion Dynasty. And that really helped help the deck out a lot. 
some classic old favorites here. Most of these are just rat bodies. That's it. Just tribe members. Whatever they do is secondary, you know. Uh, rabid rats. Nizuni Ronin. Death Masks. Nizuni. The Burglar Rat. Nat Miser. Now this one, the each opponent's max hand size reduced by one. That's one of those things that you never really think that it's going to have any kind of game impact. But it does. It really does. The Dirty Dirty Wear Rat. Nazumi Grave Robber is just another one that is great. Uh, but you spend the two mana, remove target card in the opponent's graveyard from the game. If no cards are in their graveyard, flip it. Now, there's got to be one to target, so... And then when you flip it, you get five mana colon. Put target creature card in a graveyard. Not just yours, your opponent's as well. So that works wonderful. Yeah, yeah, I have the Changeling Outcast and the Ghostly Changeling because I was wanting to maximize the amount of rats. Just, yeah. Uh, Razor Tooth, the Bone Reader, Rotting Rats. Gnawing Vermin. The Locust Miser reduces it by two. Throat Slitter. Pestilence Rat. I, I like this one. The Ice Age one. Uh, Power is equal to number of rats you control. That's pretty neat. The Ruin Rats. Sinuous Vermin. Sewer Rat. Nizumi Cutthroat. Chittering Rat. Skull Snatcher. Ninjutsu, that's right. This is one of those decks that you'll probably ninjutsu out a couple of cards. Uh, Ossuary Rats, Shinobi, Gutter Skulk, Typhoid Rats, Nizumi Prowler, and the good old Portal Muck Rat, which is literally just a 1 1 for 1. Uh, let's see here. Removal wise. Uh, some of this is actual removal and some of it is theoretical removal. I know that's weird, right? Um, obviously, our Doom Blade and Murder really good. Uh, just does what it does. Snuff Out. I love this card. Uh, it has, I mean, a lot of folks love this card, right? But because a lot of times they count you out if you're tapped out. So. Uh, Vow of Torment is an old favorite of mine. If it's not a problem to me, then you know what? It's it's not my problem. <laughs> I'll just make it where you can't... Yeah. Death Mark. Uh, a lot of people don't use this, but it does... I mean, green or white, we are mono black. Those are the two enemy colors. Uh, that covers a whole lot of creatures. Feed the Swarm works here in both... Function and flavor, because just the name, Feed the Swarm, just begs to be in a rat deck, right? I mean, it, it does. Um, I'm counting Profane Command as removal, um, because most of the time, one of the two modes, the reason why I'm playing it is that minus X, minus X. I mean, but it also has the upside here, I tend to use the... Uh, X target creatures gain fear as well, so that's a good one. Now, Dash Hopes, I know is an inferior card, I know there are better ones, but I just can't give up on it now. <laughs> uh, Undercity Plague, yeah, this doesn't look like much. Um, target player loses a life, discards a card, and sacks a permanent, but the cipher. The cipher's what it, it it's, it's really in there for. Because you exile it, encode it on a creature. That wording just still trips me out. And then whenever that creature deals combat damage to a player, you get to cast this card again each time it deals combat damage. So, And it is the Undercity Plague that is probably carried by rats. I'm just saying. Now, here's the most controversial card in the deck. Grave Pact. Grave Pact is one of those power cards that a lot of people just do not like. Now, 
Yeah, there's the, uh, um, I have a little bit of, of a sack engine here with the clamp. Uh, but, I mean, that's one card. If you'll notice, there's no tutors in here. Um, well, not regular tutors, rat tutors, yeah. But, but Grave Pack does create a lot of unfun board states in decks where they have every version of Grave Pack and they use just aristocrats type themes and stuff like that. Yes, it can make for a very unfun game, even for the one playing it sometimes. But in this particular deck, I need something because rats get outclassed pretty quick. So that's why I have the Grave Pact in there. Uh, more or less try to level the playing field a little bit in the wrath favor. But all we have are two non-basic lands. We have our Polluted Mire. In case we draw it late game, we can cycle that Joker away. Yeah. And then our beautiful Bajuka Bog from the Brothers War Commander decks in that old border. Love that stuff. Love it, love it, love it. But that's Rats. That's Ash Coat. Uh, I do appreciate y'all watching. Y'all let me know what you think down below. And uh, we will see y'all next time. But for this time, we're going to go ahead and shuffle and cut.